All right, I'm in. Hacker, I'm in. Hacker man. Um. So yeah, I got to. Uh, I got to seed this, don't I? Someone has to. Uh, and then someone was harvesting that. Is a is a is it a man harvesting this? No, I think someone was harvesting it. We'll, uh... Oh, this is almost full. I need to go empty this. Okay. I'll go empty this. And then I'll get a man to, to come and harvest it. Or a woman. I mean, we could hire women, uh... Scabs. It's fine. They're not... They're not scabs. <laughs> How do you know? Because you're hiring them. Bye. Thanks for watching for two minutes. Bye. What if I'm hiring them, uh, uh, but like our regular workers are uh, protesting our poor work conditions? What regular workers? I mean, that's that's the thing. Is if they're protesting the work conditions, then they wouldn't be working, would they? They wouldn't be here. You need other workers first. I'm 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 getting sick and tired of your logic, Lost Joke. I think maybe uh, you need to have an unpaid vacation. Working at the lime mines. I don't get paid already. Uh, these are oats, so we want to put these. Here. Hello, Stoke. I see you there. Hello. You see nothing. You know nothing. Jin Snee. Uh. On, change up. There we go. Uh, oh yeah. Hello. Hello, Crag. That's my name. Windows in order. Here we go. Alright. Let's go continue to harvest the oats with this thing. I'm just gonna put a worker on it. And then we need to, uh, if someone would like to, uh, sow soybeans again on this field, let me make sure that. Doesn't need to be limed. Nope, we're good. Let's see how many oats we have. I, I wonder, like, I, I'm, I was thinking, like, um, we keep using this field for oats, this field out here for oats, until the next time it needs to be limed, and then once it needs to be limed, I'm thinking about uh, switching to something else for a while, because I think we might have enough oats for the moment. But I don't know. I don't know what you guys think. No connection could be established to the multiplayer game. No. Try again. Godspeed, worker. 
Uh, hello. How many oats do we have? Our horses are ridden. The amount of oats that we have is 27,400. And how much do the cows have? So, or not the cows, the horses. One of them kind of looks like a cow because he has that, like, kind of mottled, spotted color. I don't know. I don't think you know what a cow looks like. Um, so the pen holds uh, 8,000 liters. And so far in the, like, three or four days, um, it, it the horses, the two horses in there have only eaten less than 500. So I think that we're actually pretty good for oats for, like, a while. I'm still going to do, like, another one more one more load of oats in there until it needs to be limed. So the field needs to be limed again, but then uh, when it does, I think we'll switch to something else. For just for a bit, well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do oats again at some point, but for now. Plenty of fertilizer in here. Oh, there's Craig. Thank goodness. Thank goodness he was able to, to make it. So have you guys seen uh, the new steam machine? The Gaben gear? Yeah. No. It's a new it's a new handheld except it has like really good specs and it's not that expensive. Well, there are also three different versions. Well, yeah, but I, none of the versions really are that expensive. Even the, the most expensive one is like what, $700 or something like that? Or is it 800? Either way, like that's like a full computer that you can play basically any game on at apparently mid to high settings. Someone uh I, someone was saying they read an article from IGN, you know, talking about it, he said that he was able to play something like Jedi Fallen Order on like high settings, <laughs> and it and it ran fine on that it's thing. The gimmick, though, there always seems to be a gimmick with a uh, Valveware. Uh, well, it runs Linux by default, or a, a version of Linux. It's it's their Steam OS, um, but that's like not a problem for most games, especially most Steam games. It's because because you can run like most Steam games on on Linux thanks to uh, to Proton anymore um but apparently you can if you want to and if you have the the inclination you can just install windows on there and just run stuff on windows so i don't know i'm guessing the main uh caveat will be uh if you can even find one <laughs> after the first couple of days of sale because you know valve doesn't really make a lot of something You gotta go AFK a couple minutes. I mean, it looks interesting. It's not really something that I particularly need or want. It would be cool, but I don't really have the money for that. But, you know, at this point, like, if you're in the market for a new computer that can play, like, games at a decent uh, quality, it looks kind of tempting, especially considering how much ex more expensive, like, uh, uh, you know, graphics cards and stuff are right now. What was the uh, button to switch passenger seats again to, to go into passenger seats like tab? I 
don't control recall. Tab. Control tab. Because I'm here. I'm here with you, Lustville. How dare you. Wee! Oh, you lost one. You lost one, Lost Joke. Hold on, you lost one. I didn't see where it went. It, like, flew way the hell off. Oh, there it is. Here, I'll get it. Just, uh... But I mean, I've seen the specs. The, the screen is only an 800, an 800p screen. Just kind of, you know, but it's like a small screen. It's like a seven-inch screen. Apparently, the screen itself is a touch screen as well, and it has the the patented Valve like uh, you know, little like touch pads on their on their on their Steam controller that they had. It has those on it, and it has actual analog sticks. What and about the joystick drift. <laughs> well, I mean. Valve never had problems with that, but Valve never really had the joysticks, so I guess we'll see. But apparently you can, you know, you can dock it. You don't have to buy their dock, it's just any, any like, USB-C thing, I think. And, uh, can dock it to, like, a bigger screen. Seems kind of cool. Again, I don't have the money for it. But it seems kind of cool. Meanwhile, here's Nintendo saying that we got a new Switch for you. It just has a better screen and literally nothing else. People are still going to buy Nintendo. Yeah. People were, were wanting uh, something more, though. Like, better battery life, better, you know, graphics. Something. But no, it's just a better screen, that's it. I'm so efficient. I would say, can we turn on the radio? But um, we can, and we should not, <laughs> because I'll get flagged for it. You can get flagged for a dog barking for all Twitch cares. Hmm. Someone completed their task. Who completed their task? Ah, this guy. I left, lost joke, I'm gone. In case you were wondering, I teleported out. You're destroying my uh, immersion. You know what this game needs as a mod? Is uh, a sound effect whenever you, like, alt, or whenever you tab to another vehicle. They need the, uh, the Dragon Ball Z, like, like, sound effect when they, when they phase Pretty around. Sure there's a mod. <laughs> Doubt it'd be very hard to make that one. It's just a, an audio be awesome. cue. It would be amazing. We can be uh, Saiyan farmers. Farmers don't aren't Saiyans. Those are the troubles. They're weak. What do you mean? Saiyans need to eat too. Saiyans need yeah, to eat a they lot. They just take it from the the weaker race. Yeah. Well, yeah, but Goku would probably farm if he didn't fight. But he does fight, so. Goku, I mean, go on. I'm go surprised. On farm. Barely knows how to. I'm surprised Goku knows how to breathe, with how <laughs> inept he is with just He's really anything stupid. besides fighting. He is really stupid. I love Goku, but man, he is dumb. I feel like they're they really play up his dumbness in like the later seasons too. Like he's 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 flanderized now. He's too stupid to live. And he just dialed all of his dumbness up to to eleven. They said they're making another uh, super movie.
I like the first one. The first one was, was good. It actually had... <laughs> it took a really stupid character and, and made him better in every way. And who's that? Broly. Everyone is so obsessed with Broly, and I'm and I'm sitting here thinking, like, did we watch the same movie? I mean, the original, original Broly. Like, did we watch the same movie? Broly's background is literally that when he was a baby, when he and Goku were both babies in the same nursery, Goku kept on crying, and it made Broly, like, angry. And so, like, 40 years later, when they're both adults, Broly is now uh, a, a, an angry murder machine who is obsessed with with killing Goku because because when they were babies he got annoyed like that's literally his, his backstory his neutral state is super saiyan like his his natural just existing state is just super saiyan yeah that's how mad he is and people people love that character I don't know why he was such a stupid character he's even dumber than Goku and I love Goku. Like, listen, I love Goku. He's he's dumb as a b bag of nails, but I love him. I do not love Broly. However, the new DB Super movie actually gives him a real background, and it was it was it was pretty good. I can't even remember what it was offhand now because it's been like a year and a half since I saw it. But like, it was a lot better than stupid. Like the 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 old Broly background is still in my mind just because of how absolutely ridiculously stupid it is. I'm back. Hi. Whack. 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 This Whack. is abuse. <laughs> how can I- how, how am I able to pick up this thing? Look how big it is. Why am I able to pick this up? Probably because it's very thin. Craig, we were talking about Dragon Ball stuff. Have you ever? Did you ever watch Dragon Ball, Craig? Are you are you a Dragon Ball fan at all? I've watched some, but not very much. Um, I was okay. mentioning. Uh, <laughs> I, I was mentioning one of the one of the original Dragon Ball Z movies centered around a character named uh, Broly. And um, this character, his his entire backstory, his literal entire backstory was that uh, when he and Goku were babies in the same nursery, uh, Goku was crying too much, and that and that pissed Broly off. And so now, like thirty or forty years later, Broly is still pissed about that, about that one time when he was a newborn baby, and and Goku was, was crying too much. That makes sense. That, that's his entire backstory. And also, he's super strong for some reason. I don't even remember why, in the original. I know in the in the new one they made it so that it was like uh, uh, they like bred him to be super strong or like he was like they did like experiments or something like that on him to make him like super strong. Because Goku's tears gave him strength. <laughs> but they redid his story in the new Dragon Ball Super movie, and it was actually like not bad. It wasn't it wasn't mind-numbingly stupid. What should I be doing? Um, I don't know. At this, at the moment, we're waiting for the soybean uh, cultivator to finish, and then we need to cultivate the oats. And then after that, I'm gonna skip forward to the next day. But like, I don't want to move time too fast right now because I want that to get done today. This doesn't have to be done today, but it would be nice to be done today. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, it's going to be another couple of days until we can afford more stuff. We might be able to afford a new uh, a new trailer or something at some point. We could even like I don't know. We could even like get another uh, another plot somewhere, but they're all kind of expensive. Plot ten. That's land ownership. Is uh, forty six. No, 65k, plot 10. It's expensive. Uh, 107. 11, Jesus. 
I think if we were, go- were going to get another one, either 10 or 16 are the only ones that are feasibly within our means. Uh, 10 is 65.6k, 16 is 64k, almost on the nose. Um, but it would give us something more to do. Although, ha- having said that, like, we we do have more to do. Like, we, we do also need to plant the oats, but we can't really do that because we only have the one cedar. So, maybe getting another field isn't what we want. Maybe we would do one another, um... You get like another cedar, or we could get like like I don't know. What do you guys think? What what kind of equipment should we should we buy? I thought we wanted a third tractor. Yes, but what would we do with that third tractor? It would do whatever we need the tractor to do because we have an extra tractor that's not doing anything right now. Yeah, we have a tractor right now that's not doing anything because we don't really have anything for it to do because we only have. The one seeder, and uh, I didn't pipe out straw with that oat harvest, which is fine. I don't really think it's worth it right now. Um, it probably makes sense to get another cult, uh, cultivator. Yeah, let me see how much those are. Those are probably one of the expensive ones. But I'll see. Uh, where is it? Cultivators. Uh, not here. Right. Seeders. There we go. Uh, oh! Actually, that one only costs 32k. We could actually get it right now. And I'm considering it. Uh, what's this one? It's less. Will we have the money to buy a bunch of horses when the current horses are done? Uh, yes. When we sell the current horses, they are going to sell for fifty k each, and horses buy for five k each. Uh, should I go ahead and get another one of the things that we already have? The the same uh, cedar cultivator. Thirty two k. We can afford it right now. Sure. I will outright buy it. All right. In that case, Craig, do you want to go pick it up and seed the uh, the oat field? You're gonna have to pick up some seeds too. Hello. That's very handy because a head-on collision that's <laughs> biased to the left side of the cab. The uh, this uh, tractor that we're using right now is actually kind of an expensive tractor. I was expecting all the other stuff that we start out with to be kind of expensive, but apparently not. I wish I could have, like, painted it or something, but that's fine. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> he clipped that one. He clipped it a bit. This does have lights, by the way. You can turn on the lights, the uh, the like warning lights and stuff, like the like the siren lights on the on the top. You can turn those on. I don't remember. I think it's like L. I like think you have to like cycle through it. No. Mm, let's see. It's one of them. Uh, flashlights. No, there, there is definitely. Here we go. Uh, it's home. It's home key. There you go. Perfect.
might need to open the other one. It might be the other, uh... Other. Let's see, do we have some fertilizer? I don't know what the fertilizer thing is. Here it is. Uh, we actually do not. <laughs> we don't have any. <laughs> I think it's all in the other uh, cedar. Here, I'll buy some. Go to the store. I'll, I'll pick some up. Solid fertilizer. I'm just gonna get one for now. We'll buy another one later. See how much it uh, goes. You know what? I'll buy two. I bet we can fit two. Sparking job. Yep. It should be close enough. It might be the wrong uh, cover again. Working. There it goes. Yay! It was exactly two. Nice. I think we still have enough seeds. Let me see. Let me see how many seeds we have. For all I know, we don't have enough seeds. Uh, seeds are these, I believe. No. Uh, damn it. I wish that they wouldn't use symbols. I wish that they would use like actual friggin' words. Like, what is this? A mobile app? Probably. Where's my? Because uh, I had this, like, saved, and now I don't know where the hell it is. There it is. What seeds? Precious. It is that one. Uh, no, we don't have any seeds. <laughs> uh, I'm going to buy two of these. Be plenty for us. <laughs> Jesus. I still wish we could drive those cars. There really is not a mod available to let you drive these cars. This is not it's not a thing. I don't know why. There should be a mod that lets you carjack the cars. There should be a mod to just have farm sim stuff in Grand Theft Auto 6. Yes, 6. They should make it for the new one. What? That's going to come out. They're That's going to come out in out 3 five. years. It's going to come out. Listen, it's going to come out in 3 years. Three years from now, it'll be announced to, get to come out in another two years. The 
that's extremely optimistic. It'll be out um, at around the same time that Star Citizen comes out. How's that for optimism? All right, make sure you have oats selected. Worker I is almost done. He has a name. It's Ian. Uh, he doesn't have a name in this company. He's just I. He's Worker I. Having a little bit of trouble with this one, uh, Craig? Apparently. Or I'm really slow. Leaving. Bye. Worker I still has uh, two two passes left. It looks like he only has one, but I think he has, actually has two. I am here again. I can't believe you're still on the first one. <laughs> Holy shit. So oh, look, the worker neglected to get some of the uh, oats from here. Son of a bitch. Good thing he's already fired. Just hire someone for this too if you want, but uh, there's nothing really else to do at the moment. Until we uh, skip the day, which I'm not going to do until this field is done being seeded. Uh, we can't really ride the horses again. Oh. Huh. I found a chair up here on top of this little uh, hill that's right next to our place. It's just a chair and, and a bottle of water. That's where the FBI is watching us from. I'm watching us, but it's not pointed at our farm. It's pointed out toward the other farms. That's just in case you find it to throw off suspicion. You seem awfully well informed. There's also some kind of electrical box here. I don't know. Maybe that's where they have the um that's where the uh the Federation has their secret uh research installation where they can um observe us and not interfere. Because we are not a uh we we are a pre warp society, so they can't they can't interfere, but they can watch us if they want. Because they're into that. That's holographically hidden. Yeah. I would say that didn't make a lot of sense in uh, in insurrection if they didn't actually do it in an earlier episode of of Star Trek: The Next Generation. Helper I has completed yeah, the task. They yeah, they did. That's what I'm saying. It was a multi-part episode. It was uh, just the one part, I thought. That one wasn't. 
I'm thinking of the one with, uh... I guess there's a couple of episodes where it happens, because there's one with, um, where, like, Data, like... Something happens to Data, and, and he ends up, uh, living with a bunch of, uh, pre-warp people, and, like... He didn't remember that he's, he's, uh, Federation, and, uh... There's that one scene where the, where the lady is trying to teach kids about, quote-unquote, science, but it's all, like... You know, these are the four elements that make up everything, and Data's like, no, that's not true. That insurrection. No. This is definitely an episode. It sounds like insurrection. No, it's not. Because he, because they end up, uh, uh, it ends up that, um, something was afflicting all the people, and it was like, uh, it was like radiation in the, um, the well. Oh, yeah. And he ends up saving everybody. So insurrection is kind of just rehashed mix of a couple episodes, maybe. And then there was the episode where um, Riker gets like a full like face makeover to look like an alien, and he like it, it goes to to scout out this like alien civilization. Then he gets caught up, and there was that one. Um, that one lady played by uh, Fraser's wife from Cheers, who was like super thirsty for him when she learned that he was an alien. There's also the one where the people find out about the researchers and think they're gods, and Picard has to convince them that they're not. Oh yeah, they think Picard. They think Picard is a god. Yeah, I remember that's a really that one. Good episode. Yeah. I think there was a, uh, I don't remember seeing it, but I remember hearing about it. There was an episode of, um, Enterprise where they, like, accidentally leave, like, what, like a communicator or something on the planet, and they're, like, all obsessed with, with going back and, and trying to get it back because it would be bad to leave it there. Of course, there's also an episode of the original series that was kind of like that, but I don't remember what happens in it. I think they just kind of don't really they care. are with making sure that their presence isn't known, you think they just kind of stop doing that because <laughs> they keep messing up. Well, for every mess up that we see, there could be like dozens of, of places where it goes fine. We don't see the, we don't see the the areas where it doesn't mess up. We only see the areas where it does. Craig, do you want to use this tractor instead of that one? This one might be more powerful. Probably. Let me drive it up there. No, it's just there, but I'm just randomly driving it around. Uh, actually, before you use it... No, you can use it. Uh, after you use this, I'm going to have to go in and get it uh, tooled up. It's looking a little low. You could have just brought the other cultivator over here and helped me finish this quicker. Meh. Yep. Get out of it. I'm so... <laughs> I'm so, like, zoomed out right now. Turn the uh, volume of this down a little bit. Just the vehicle volume, I think, is fine. A little loud. This one probably isn't more powerful, but it has a lot better traction because of the tires. Yeah, that probably is. Is it? These tires are really nice because you can go over crops with them and it doesn't matter, but yeah, definitely has its uh, bad things, it's cons. It 
This one also sounds like a train as it's going. It has this, like, this weird, like, uh... I don't know, it just sounds like a train. Like, there's something, like, about it. Don't say cons while we're talking about Star Trek. Why is that? Why can't I we'll say cons? Yell con. <laughs> but what about all those times when uh, they say, take the con? The Forge, take the con. They Captain, I'm. Con then too. I'm chief engineer now. That's not really my job anymore. The Forge, damn it! Take the con! I was reading about so no, I wasn't reading about it. I was watching a video about it about um, why LaForge ended up getting the chief engineer job, even though like he was just a uh, a helmsman basically in the first like season. That uh, you know they had like multiple. Did we talk about this already? Might have. They had multiple engineers in the first season, like, kind of coming and going, but they had was one guy with the, the kind of, like, the, the large guy with the beard, um, who was there for, like, a, a few episodes. And they were considering just, just making him, like, the, the guy, uh, full-time. And, uh, apparently they had received a bunch of fan mail for this guy. Like, every, like, like, it seemed like everybody liked him. And so they are like, okay, well, let's just, if everybody likes him, if all the fans like him... Um, then we'll we'll hire him on, and he'll be the new the new chief engineer. You know, we already have him here, so we'll just give him the full time job. And um, it turns out that uh, he had written all of the fan mail himself to try to make his, himself look more popular. Yeah. And uh, and so they fired him. <laughs> how did they even find out? I don't know. I don't. They, 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 it didn't say how how they found out, but apparently. They found out, and uh, and they fired him like right then and there as soon as they found found out, and they were like, "Well, we still need a new a new chief engineer. Why don't we just use Lavar Burton? Everybody loves Lavar Burton. Who doesn't love Lavar Burton?" And they're like, "Yeah, sure, let's do it." And so that's what they that's what they did. So if it wasn't did for just... one guy's, uh, yeah. Did they just suddenly invent his engineering background in the episode where he becomes chief engineer? Well, he doesn't... I mean, he just kind of appears as the chief engineer one day. Like, I don't even remember what episode it was when he first is the chief engineer, but they don't really ever make a big deal about it. They're just like, oh yeah, he's 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 down there in engineering now. Weird. But yeah, I was gonna say without uh, without this guy's trying to <laughs> to cheat and uh, and make himself appear more popular than he was, then we wouldn't have Chief Engineer Jordy LaForge. Not that I think that he would ever he would have ever like left the show, but maybe he would have if he never got Chief Engineer. It was kind of weird that they never really had a full-time helmsman that stuck around. Yeah. Really, the one that was there the longest would have been probably Wesley, and he wasn't even really a Starfleet officer. Yeah. They had a few that were, like, there, like, multiple times. Like, they had a few regulars, but they weren't really ever named except uh, that one episode, the Lower Decks episode. And Wesley was only on the helm because he needed driving hours for his license. <laughs> Actually, his permit. His permit, yep. Yeah. I'm herbiciding, herb herbiciding the... Uh, 
Pressing all the wrong buttons. There we go. And then he got his license revoked for reckless driving. <laughs> well, he had bad influence. He had the uh, the alien guy influencing his uh, his reckless driving. Traveler. And Tom Paris. <laughs> and Tom Paris. So yeah. You mean Nick Lacarno? It wasn't Tom Paris. It was Nick Lacarno. Same difference. <laughs> They're not the same character at all. Come on. Everyone knows that. They're not the same ever at all. They have no similarities whatsoever. I don't know what you're talking about. It's weird that, uh, you know, I watched uh, uh, Robert Duncan McNeil in, in Voyager for seven years, and uh, I haven't really seen him in much else. Uh, as far as acting, but I see his name all the time for, like, directing credits. Like, he's he's directing stuff for TV, like, all the time. Hmm. Him and, uh, him and Frakes, too. I see Frakes' name pretty regularly as, as directed by on various TV shows. But I don't really ever see him in front of the screen anymore. In front of the camera, I should say. But I guess we did we did talk last week that he is going to, he is doing a new season of the uh Factor Fiction show. So I guess there's that. I might need more herbicide for the other field. question is, do we have it? Is this herbicide right here? It is. Not enough, but that's fine. Field 1 is uh, herbicide, I should say. Field 9. Is herbicided. Herba, er, herba, herbicid. I was just thinking that. Uh, Craig, what are you doing? I was just thinking that I, I wasn't making any progress. Uh huh. And oh. I looked and I was like, hey, wait, I am not making any progress. I had to lift the sower and re lower it to get Here. to actually start working. I did turn uh, time up a little bit. If it gets too, if it starts getting too dark, I'll turn it down again. It is almost getting to be seven o'clock, so I'll probably turn it down again. I mean, this stuff is going to be. You switch tractors. The thing needs to be totally reset, even if it's in the right configuration. Hmm. Uh, get yourself lined up here, because it looks like my herbiciding is <laughs> kind of erasing your marks here. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. Can you still see it? You can kind of still see it. off when you're done. I guess I could go get the other thing and, and help you. In that case, I'm going to drop this. Right 
But really, I don't see I don't see a lot of like Star Trek actors in other stuff that much. I mean, obviously, there's the few who are Patrick Stewart and and some people from the original, like William Shatner and stuff. But like, when's the last time you saw like Harry Kim in anything? Russ. Like, what has Tim Russ been in lately? What have you been in lately? Not a goddamn thing. What have you been in lately? Uh, it's been so long, I don't remember them all. <laughs> if it's been so long, that means you haven't been in anything for a while. calling last joke back. keeps trying to audition for high school student roles, but he's too old. <laughs> really? Because they'll, they'll hire you even into your, like, 30s and 40s for those. It's got too many wrinkles. Shows what you know. I have no wrinkles. Well, that's just because you have no face, but you also have to have a face to play high school students. Yeah, technically, you have no wrinkles, but you have nothing else either. You need to have a face. How are you talking if you don't have a face? Don't think about it. I have a face. I enjoy my face. I'm glad Others that I also have a face. enjoy your face. I wish. Jesus, magic crows just popping up and flying away. Some of our, uh, some of the, the mods that I got are a couple of uh, scarecrows, but apparently we can't use them because it messes up the workers. It's unfortunate. How you doing? You know, doing okay over there? Getting dark, sun's going down. Sun's going down. We better finish this up before the sun goes all the way down.
forgot I have that. Wow, it is getting dark. It often does in a desert. I don't remember what the uh, controller button for lights is, or else I would turn it on. B B. Nice. How did we do this, Craig? How did this happen? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! All right, I'm going to drop this and quickly uh, weed the rest of this. I might want to, um... Slow time so I can, uh... Fertilize it as well. Yeah, okay, a minute again. Alright. Craig's busy. Craig's too busy for, for us and our farming work. Craig's too busy. Helpers on the farm. <laughs> 